Hey everybody, Jeff's blog, day 81, uh, 14th of June 2020. Uh, I've received an encouragement from a, a young lady that uh, I encouraged to uh, have a look at my blog recently. And um, and she did. And the next day she rang, she texted me to say that she, she'd watched 43 of the sessions in one day. And then the next day she <laughs> confirmed that it was, uh, she'd finished them all and uh, was I doing any more? And of course I did that first one in lockdown, uh, those sessions in, in lockdown, the first lockdown. I'm not, we're in a bit of a lockdown now, so I've, and I've got a little bit of time on my brain uh, and in my life. So I'm going to try and uh, call this session two. And so the session one would be really introducing you to Jesus. And then session two is um, uh, trying to nurture you on in the Christian life. I'm conscious that there was no one doing that for me when I became a Christian. So from where I was, and we all come from different places, uh, it, you know, I, I would have valued a, a, a mentor. So I'm going to try and mentor you a little bit, if you will walk with me. <laughs> and I'm conscious it's slightly, slightly more serious uh, now than it was Getting born again is one thing, you know, but then getting a healthy baby is another thing. Um, but that's what we're going to try and do. I hope you'll stay with me for a bit and see how we get on. Um, just to say that um, becoming a Christian and having the Lord Jesus Christ in your life and having an influence on how you live your life changes your life uh, and changes you for the better. It changes you for the better. My, I'm conscious I want to tell you at this time that... My life was saved. We called to talk, talk about Jesus as saviour. Well, that's what his name means, saviour. Um, uh, and so he saved me. Um, at the time when I became a Christian, I'd begun, you know, before I became a Christian, I'd begun to look for a girlfriend. 18 and not had a girl, uh, a girlfriend. Um, no relationship, I hadn't kissed a girl, you know. Um, and... Uh, and so that we're going to get a girlfriend, you know, and um, uh, and it was at that time that God introduced Himself to me, and I stopped worrying about a girl because I knew that He knew every, He knew all the girls on the planet, and He would bring one to me. I had that kind of faith given to me on that beginning day, so I didn't look. Um, and but what, what I'm conscious of is that if I had found a girl of my own, then I would have slept with her. And that, that, according to the Bible, of course, that's not right. You're supposed to only sleep with people that you get married to. You wait till you're married, your wedding night, and then you get married. And so that would have been wrong. So that would have been step number one, away from God, more than what I was trying to get away from God anyway. You know, so where I would have ended up, and I probably wouldn't have got married to that girl, and maybe I'd have got, you know. You know. Um, so that, it, with, and I've talked to my wife now, and we're both conscious of the same thing, that if God hadn't to come into our lives at that time, Goodness knows where we would have ended up. We don't know where we would have ended up, but in some bad place, in some dark place, maybe. And maybe just, you know, something going on over there, with the, you know, middle of the road thing, where we feel we've had quite a nice life uh, from God. And one of the things that, because I'm introducing this session with, uh, with you know, with, with Bible verses, uh, so one of the, one of the first things that I understood as a Christian was was from the Sermon on the Mount. Jesus preached a sermon. It was called the Sermon on the Mount. And it was, um, and it, you know, and then at one point he says, and so if you're living with me, you don't need to worry. You don't need to worry about your food, don't need to worry about your clothes, don't need to worry you're going to live. I'll look after you. And it's my testimony. 54 years a Christian, he's looked after me. So, you know, it's a good, it's a good word. And, and this is the, the verse in those early days that I understood. Uh, so I want to share it with you. It's Matthew 6, verse 33. And it says, For God so loved the world... That's not, that's John 3, 16. Matthew, <laughs> Matthew, Matthew 6, 33 says, Seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Then all these other things that you might be worried about, whether you're going to have them or not, he will see that you get them. So, But put him first, and he'll make sure you get all these other things. And the way that I normally say it is if you if you put loving if if you put loving God first, 
it will enhance your life by giving you many loves. But if you choose to try to find loves for yourself at the neglect of God, you'll hardly find love at all. <laughs> and, you'll, and your life will be uh, impoverished. Uh, because, of course, to have love in your life means that you have people in your life. To have love in your life, God is love. So you'll have God in your life and all the blessings that comes with that. And you'll have people in your life as well. And all the blessings that come from that. So that so my life springs out of such a, such a family where my parents had believed in the Lord all their lives. You know? And only, only all my memories of my family life are sweet. And, and, and nurtured well and I wonder sometimes where did I get that from and where did I get that from well I got it from what God imbued into me himself so, so some things in my nature are, are how I am uh, but also some things that were nurtured in me as I grew up under the care and the love of my parents who believed in God and who were living godly lives so to live a godly life uh, one of the things that I saw, preached it for some young people once, was that it's good to be good. Many people think it's good to be bad. <laughs> I promise you, that's a, that's a contradiction in terms. It's good to be good. And God wants you to be good, because he's good. Okay, that's my first bash. We'll see how we get on. Okay, thanks for listening.